What is up explorers, we are back on another abandoned adventure. We're here in Wales and we're here to check out this absolutely amazing abandoned house hidden in these woods. Such a nice day for it, can't wait to get inside and show you. So with all that said guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit notification for future explores and let's get inside and check it out. Today, whilst exploring in the Welsh countryside, we come across this beautiful abandoned home located deep in the woods. The house sits secluded, miles from the nearest town or neighbour, surrounded by forest and with only wildlife to keep the occupants company. Inside, we discover a couple once lived here. They travelled the world together, collecting items from every country they visited, and fill in their homes with the memories they made together. Their home now sits abandoned since 2017. We couldn't find a reason to why their home is abandoned and why it's left to decay in the picturesque countryside, which only adds to the mystery of this beautiful abandoned home and leaves us wondering where did they go? Why has nobody claimed the property? And what happened to the couple that once lived here? Join us as we take a look inside and see what remains. Okay explorers, so we are inside the house now. This place is absolutely rammed full with uh, the last occupant's possessions. You can see it was once really grand and beautiful in here. Now it's just covered in dust, debris, and it does seem like the last owner, Keith, I think his name is, was a bit of a hoarder. So we're just gonna take a look around now, have an explore of this absolutely beautiful property hidden in these woods and see what we come across. Okay guys, so we begin in what I believe is the living room and look at this place guys absolutely rammed full but if you just check out the like fireplaces absolutely beautiful so much artwork there's plates up on the walls but there is so many possessions like I did say it does seem like Keith was a bit of a hoarder but like I said look at this absolutely beautiful fireplace it seems so out of place here all the detail in there carved in Nice ornaments on the top here. Candlesticks. Look at this artwork. It's a bit out there, isn't it? It's a bit wild. Plates up on the walls, like I said. Just on that wooden beam sat there. The lights, cobwebs hanging from there. The old wooden beams. Typical for a house in this uh, location. But I can see tables, pianos, amazing dresses but we're just going to start off with what's in front of us and you can see a mad collection of cds all albums he has quite the collection actually look at this every drawer full some more here boxes of cds books dan brown and the likes of that but look at these ornaments i don't want to move that because it doesn't seem too solid nice check out the photographs so this is the house before it was completely overgrown with ivy and all sorts is this the owner's parents look at this old black and white photographs victorian got some family pictures here little babies or baby pictures but there is so many possessions here it is crazy and we're like two steps in you can see out of the window there completely overgrown now you've got glass trinkets on the windowsill look at these chairs all detailed white mold on the chairs now as well which is a shame old armchair where he probably sat listened to his music had his fedora on look at this this is actually a female's hat but look, tights in there too. 
so I made sure that is that a German hotel there just trying to find a year 1936 that was stamped from Germany so before World War II wow China plates the old telephone there love finding stuff like that nice old retro oh, pieces this is actually on card written on the back of a card looks like the owner was German oh my days look at all these books on this bookshelf completely filled there old stereo into his classical music I can see West End shows there but if anyone has an age for this stereo it does look like just a tape player or do we have discs at the bottom oh no we have discs at the bottom too well into his music his name was Keith I do believe and it does seem like he was German or from German descent look at the white mold on these books obviously been sat here for such a long time wow the clock above the door here half past 11 check this out guys nice old piano completely covered in white mold to go with the rest of the house ah oh, dad oh that actually scared me i wasn't expecting that but nice oil lamp on the top there that obviously would have had a mirror or a portrait but I do think a mirror actually the retro wallpaper and check out these windows nice arched way windows completely covered in cobwebs got the trinkets on the windowsill there amazing place so much history in this place look at this old photo album Bruges in sepia serpia someone's gonna correct me there it does feel quite delicate as well wow completely full here's some black and white photographs now bit of a traveler maybe does seem that way look at this dresser as well how cool is that it's completely empty though which is strange doesn't really go with the rest of the house wow I would like to get over there but like I said guys the floor is completely covered so we may have to move this chair for a few minutes we will put it back in its place just wanted to check out what these were look at this ornament on the writing bureau here all his letters envelopes a lot of artwork here look at this in the corner very strange like I said the glasses on the side there but so far under all of that somewhere you can just make it out you can just see the arm of the chair there so cool nice big open windows it is a very nice relaxed vibe in this place gonna head through into the next room you can just see the floor now <laughs> luckily but check this corrugated iron roof not even a slate roof which does explain some of the damage heading to this room now old bathroom look at this completely covered in cobwebs can't even see out of that window there but like I said hoarder's house books uh, clothes horse just stuff absolutely everywhere in this place even some vinyls what vinyls do we have Mikhail Burov never heard of him but he looks quite suave there there is so much music and art in this house cello sweets suits whatever don't really know wow there is so much here like I said just books covering this bathroom all in the bath we have his lotions and potions on the shelves still full some of them shampoos Jesus money to burn the mirror there the bath filled with oh god I wouldn't even want to take a guess what that is all bits and bobs in there toilet seat which we will not be investigating not a chance 
I've just noticed this though, what's this? Some sort of African statue, it's pretty heavy. Got all their decoration on there. That's pretty cool. This does look like an old army bag. And there is another statue under there. Wow. On the toilet there. Looks like Tinkerbell or some sort of fairy. This is crazy, what an insane house. Look at this mirror. Covers the whole wall. Beautiful decoration in there. There's a little cherub on the top or maybe the Monopoly man it looks like. I'm gonna be careful at opening these. Or bog roll. Wow, all your bits and bobs in there. Completely covered in white mold. Bottle of Baileys on the toilet. Just checking out this hallway. Look at this, guys. There's some sort of uh, demon carved into the stone there at the back. I don't know if you can make out that face, but that's a bit weird. All your china plates, cups, ashtrays. Wow. Some money in this house, you know, guys. Definitely. The owner was not skins in any shape, way, way, shape or form. Couldn't even say that then. Just looking behind this door now. All of his Sunday best, his shirts and suits, blazers all hung up. Clothes on the back of this door too. Oh my days. Completely filled with glasses, look at this. Wow, quite Sunday glasses there as well. Partial to an ice cream. I can't open that door because of all this rubbish behind it. Guys, what are you saying so far? Absolutely amazing house. It's such an interesting one. So much stuff in here from all over the world, all different ages. I don't actually, I haven't seen a date yet, which is quite strange considering there's so much here. Oh, we're gonna head into this next room now. Ooh, a bit of a whiff in this one, guys. Bit of a stench. Oh, can we get through? We're through. Look at the ornaments. Got lions, cats, carved into this wood. A horse and plow and a farmer. Big flat screen TV, which makes no sense in this house. Because everything's so old and dusty. Look at this. Plain statues, horses. Looks like this is the fella that lived here. Hello. That light's beaming through. Oh, the, the lion is actually carved into the beam. This wooden beam going across. Clothes hanging down still. Wow. Strange to see a flat screen TV in here. So that's obviously putting you into the 2000s era of when this place was abandoned. Paperweights on there, look at that chest, all carved. Wow, empty but obviously something very valuable was kept in there. It does look looked after as well. A lot of camera equipment too. The dust is just absolutely everywhere. Oh, bank cards and stuff, so we'll ignore that. We won't be looking in there, but I just want to check this out whilst we're in this room. Look at these old slides. Don't know if we can see them, but they're pretty cool. This is completely filled with old slides, silver box there. Faces everywhere, everywhere you look. But you can just see, look at the floor. You can see it was lived in this condition as well. There's a single bed under all these boxes. A complete collection of DVDs over in the window there, under that brass plate. More jackets hung up. Two armchairs here as well. And here's this fella again. And maybe that's his wife. That is a pretty modern frame, so that's putting me into the 2000s when this was abandoned, definitely. Celtic artwork up on the walls. Bedside table, look at this. All his tablets and what have yous. Nice lamp there. Blue jeans, Versace blue jeans. Throwback to my high school days. Walking around stinking of it. 
Look at this carved into the wall. Nice details. Wow. Check this out. Oh, it smells in here. Oh my God, really bad. Clothes hung up. Shoes. Look how old that computer is. That's gotta be 80s, 90s. Oh my days, what is that smell? I'm not sure, but another bookshelf completely filled. Oh, oh we're under the stairs here. Plates, silverware, a walking stick hanging on the back of the door. Sorry if I'm a bit close, guys. A nice old Bible there. All his bits and bobs, tablets, medicines, bed sheets in this carved built-in wardrobe. Guys, I don't know what that smell is, but it's knocking me sick. Oh my. And check out this bedroom. Arched windows, plates, artwork, speakers above the door there. Clothes hung up, another corrugated iron roof, so this is an extension, poorly built. Sorry to say, Keith, but you can tell, look at the damp debris coming down. The bed's completely covered. More David Bowie vinyls. There's the Con Kanye West conspiracy. David Bowie stood under the K West sign. A lot of vinyls there. It could be damp because this carpet is absolutely sodden. Oh, look at this, all sportswear, trainers, tracky tops. In this mouldy old wardrobe. Thought I heard something then. Let's check out this cupboard here. If we can get in, can we get in? All clothes. So this is definitely Keith's bedroom. I uh, haven't seen any women's clothes yet, guys. But look at the ornaments, completely covered in mould. The speaker. Definitely seen better days in this room. More artefacts on the windowsill. Some Buddhas, things like that. But wow. These foxes, just chilling here. What a place, guys. Some it's definitely died in this room. Maybe uh, some mice or a wild animal, but this room is beyond stinky. It's disgusting. Who's this fella? Just chilling behind this doorway here. Oh, guys. I don't know what's going on in this house, but something's dead in this room. I do believe we are finished exploring downstairs. We're gonna head upstairs now and see what we can find. Can't believe this place has got an upstairs. But check it out, artwork, cobwebs going up the stairwell, a teddy hanging down off the banister with another walking stick. Obviously an older fella lived here. But look, more artifacts on the windowsill, covered in these cobwebs, thick cobwebs here on the window frame. And then these fellas just sat here cobwebs in my heart and everything. Oh my days, guys. Oh, we're gonna have to climb. We're gonna have to climb over some stuff. There is a double bed under here, I've just noticed. But guys, I'm about three foot off the floor now, just stood on all this collateral. I don't know what it is. But um, there's chairs in here, it's such... I always think like when we go into these houses and they're in this state, like where was everything placed when they lived here because there's definitely not enough room here for all the stuff bedding in the wardrobe there more artwork look at the dust just completely covering everything there's a little space above here as well that's a bed there's like a bunk above this wall above the stairwell that is some clothes there have I got news for you? So that's a BBC program, pretty famous in the 90s and early 2000s. This is fleece, obviously got cold up here in the winter times. Whoa, my legs just completely gone through that. 
is this guy? Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> it's children's bedrooms. There's the pictures of the children. My leg just went straight through all that. Somebody's obviously been in here, haven't they? Rooting. Whoa, I've just gone through again. Oh my days. Wow, check out that. Check out that vase. That's incredible. I'm just trying to get over to look at these mobile phones. That should give us a good time for when this place was abandoned. That's a Sony Ericsson. So you're looking at 2000s. Definitely. Another Nokia there. That's probably still got battery. That'll start ringing in a minute. But look at this. You can see out into the woods here. Would be absolutely beautiful at night time. You could see the stars. You could hear the animals. My God. This place is full. Who's this fella? Wow. Look at this Buddha head hidden under here. There's probably so much valuable stuff just completely covered in clothes and what people have been rooting through. Look at the Buddhas chilling on the printer now. There is a lot of dragons and Buddhas over on that windowsill too. Oh, I'm out of breath climbing everywhere. Oriental models sitting in the window there. Them two are looking out into the garden so they're probably protecting the place. Oh, past these geishas are they? Wow, and then into final bedroom. Clothes hung up on the back of the wardrobe. Wow, big double bed here. Clothes still hanging. Oh, my hat's touching something, that's disgusting. Jeans hanging up there, bookshelves. I'm surprised this upstairs is still standing, to be honest, with the, with the floor, with the ceiling going through downstairs. Wow, what a room this is, guys. Can we look in here? Pot noodles at the bottom there. Shirts hung up. Just checking out those books. It's not unusual. Red caps policing the army. Political history. Oh, pictorial history, sorry. I'm standing on all these clothes, guys. The Order of the SS. Well into his war books. Oh, tantrism. Nice. What an incredible house this is. I hope no one's under that quilt. It does kind of look like it. Ooh. Oh my days. Oh wow. Look at this artwork. This looks quite grand and expensive. Actually does. The whole bed's covered in it. Oh. These could be worth a few quid. We will hide them again. No, I think they're just to protect them, to be honest. Whole oh, landscapes and things like that. They were all turned over this way, so we will put them back. I just noticed that, that one's painted in 1957. Oh, I'm so out of breath. Climbing over everything. And it is quite humid in this room as well. Just looking at that old speaker. Some more Chinese oriental models on the back of the door and there's david he's actually covered up this time Whew, sweating wow led to uh, another oh here we go ufo retrievals maybe into his conspiracies yeah ufo phenomenon phenomenon i still can't say it two years later into religion war ufos my kind of guy into the afterlife underworld gospel amazing to see what people read and what was important to them all classics here dracula alchemist witchcraft and magic these speakers here look at this artwork here it is like quite a spiritual list house spiritualist that key from 1989 well spoon but look at this guys absolutely amazing the buddhas the chest on here i don't know it's a set of drawers airplanes there that an old tobacco tin look at the detail in that silver tobacco tin whoa more buddhas 
Oh, I shouldn't have wore this hat today, guys. Look at the dust on these speakers. So they were obviously blasting their music, practicing their tantrism, their tantric exercises. Good for them. More speakers. Look at the ivy growing over this window as well, guys. More CDs. Disco ball as well, so I'll have had that going. Look how they've put the mirrors either side of the window, obviously to maximise the light coming into here. Very clever, very suave. <sighs> there you have it guys, inside this absolutely amazing house. Before we go, we are going to head outside. There is five or six outbuildings that we want to check out. With what's in the house, there's probably something interesting in there. So we're just going to get some pictures for Instagram. Make sure you're following at Adam Mark Explores. We're going to get some cinematics for the video and we're going to head outside and see what's hidden out there. What a place. Okay, Explorers, so we're outside now. Absolutely beautiful house inside, so much left behind. And it's just absolutely unbelievable, to be honest. But we're just outside now, we're just gonna have a quick look around, see what we can see. Straight away, it's like a, a hippie or a traveler's house. Look at this, old bird nest there, bird box. You can see how overgrown the whole garden is. Completely overgrown, but they've got their own well here as well. Look at that, the little little kids in the statue there. Absolutely beautiful. What a stunning home this is. Nice turquoise paint. So lucky to be able to live in a place like this. But we've just got these outbuildings too that we just want to check out. It's quite stinky in here. Look at all the old tools, Woolworths. That gives you a, a date there, but you're not going to be able to get in there. Look at the bin, completely covered in moss here. Just so much, it's not even focusing, look at that. Just absolutely filled to the brim. Such a nice day as well to be out exploring. We are gonna head up the hill now where there's another outbuilding and we're just gonna check that out and see what we can find. I'm absolutely loving this place. Let me know in the comments what you think. Okay guys, so exploring the outbuildings. I've opened this window, look how dirty it is. And we've found a completely full office so when Matt comes I'm gonna get him to hold the camera as I go inside but Matt takes forever no matter what I was looking I've seen like all the faces there on the wall I'll have a look in a sec all right hold this for a sec guys we are inside check this out another completely full room um <laughs> there's gay porn on it no way with handcuffs you can take that home, yeah, old man. <laughs> look at him straight in there. Six quid. <laughs> yeah. oh, but look at this. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you love it. Hat boxes. This is a single bed on here. This is like a proper little home away from home. Shirts hung up. That chest been tipped upside down, but you can see it was full of clothes once upon a time. Oh, the more gay porn. Look at this, guys. Completely full CD rack. Are they like, what's Van Dyke? Van Dyke? Yeah. Oh, I see that. Maybe, but that looks like uh, photo for reels. Wow. What's up, black from the Hang on. Look at this completely, he was a photographer. There was loads of cameras in the house. Wow. Look at all of his work. That's incredible. I don't want to be throwing them round. All full of trinkets. Look at the old mobile phone here. Whoa, a Maxon. Check that out, Matt. <laughs> the age on that. Wow. All tablets, bits and bobs in there. A lot of film reels. Wow. Whoa. Nearly went there, lad. Smells proper nasty, that. Yeah. Well, we know what he's been doing in here. All the books, cassettes, antiques. A lot of masks. Army jackets. There was a few army bits in the house. Definitely in the army. Yeah. What's this? Hmm. Not really sure what this is. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Some sort of spiritualist stuff. 
old uh, stereo systems here. This is incredible. Yeah, my heart's skull, mate. I know, I'm trying to head over. It's like a monkey skull, isn't it? It's an ashtray. If I move that now, the roof's gonna come down or something like a temple. <laughs> but he's well into all his stuff. Microphones, cassettes, books, look at this. All frames up here for framing his artwork, his pictures, what have you. This is incredible though. Just completely full. More microphones. It's like he had a podcast. You know what I mean? Yeah. Are you papping me? Have a look at that uh, black thing there, mate. Where? Is it a telescope or a lens? Oh, wow. That would be a lens, that. It's like a <sighs> yeah, it's a lens. Whoa. Some age on that as well. Very dusty. But some sort of contraption that he's made up there as well. We definitely got to check out some more outbuildings. There's loads here as well, aren't there? This is incredible, mate. Tripod there, too. Cool. Definitely a photographer, wasn't he? Yeah, definitely. Okay, guys, we've put the uh, filthy mags away. Matt's had a good look. And we're just heading into this last outbuilding. And it, uh, once again, completely full. All old tools in this place. Check it out. Some sort of uh, dump dumper driver here. Dumper driver? <laughs> dumper truck. <laughs> dumper truck, that's the one. Dumper truck there. Completely full though. Look at all the old suitcases here. It is incredible. Proper like, so much stuff here. Forgot what I was gonna say then. I just said proper like, but this is amazing. Just having a look around these old frozen in time homes. The old tools, all old tools in here. Proper workshop. There's like helmets, there's all sorts in here, mate. Check it out. More old suitcases, look, the frames for his artwork. It's a proper collector, eh? Yeah, he is. I, I do feel like it was a hoarder, you know. Do you get that vibe? Yeah, that's one. Yeah. I mean, look at the outbuildings, just completely full as well. Oh, there's a safe, Matt. Yeah. You seen it? I have got a phone. Oh no, it's not. Oh no, it's an old um, fire. Right, there you have it, guys. Absolutely amazing look inside this time capsule house. So much left behind, completely full of his possessions. Um, some that he probably didn't want us to see as well. But I've absolutely loved it, guys. If you've enjoyed it, remember to hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe for more. We're uploading weekly content of amazing abandoned homes. And um, we'll see you next week. Cheers.